Hey guys, welcome back to your Six Covered. You may go on. What is this? A spaceship? Is Rick an, an astronaut? You guys remember these? Your moms might have had them on their head, and then they open up and they're drying their hair. You guys remember that, right? All right. Well, guess what? I found one. I bought my wife one of these a long ass time ago, and I turned it into a brass dryer. So I got a big bucket of 40 I just got. Been washing and tumbling it with uh, wet with steel media. And I'm like, I need to get all this stuff dried up. So last night I built this. Boom, the robot. Look at that little R2-D2. So you guys might have seen these old movies, hair parlor, girl thing, whatever you call them, hair salons. We got ionic air, we've got it on on, we got it on high heat, we got it on high speed, high speed baby low drag. Alright, this right here was an extra, and that was an extra, basically door or cabinet to some of these sets down here that Pops Quest graciously uh, had given me years back. So I decided to make a pizza oven. All right, it's not a pizza oven. We are at, what's that say? Let's see, 145, 150. All right, so we are cooking some brass. So what I did was I built these shelves here. Basically, I've cut in them like that. And you can slide the pizza pan in. What's nice about these is they got air holes, so the air will go down to the next one. We got a ton more brass down here. I'm cleaning so much brass that I'm just throwing it anywhere I can get it to dry. This stuff's hot. Um, so it's working really well. And for us guys that like to look at stuff, I had to make a viewing window. Here's a light. That flashlight I'm running. You can see the different levels I can put the brass at. Left this opening here so this is about a three quarter inch opening maybe a half inch and that helps cycle the air from intake here and exhaust out right here. You can feel a good pressure. I can make jerky on this thing if I wanted to but I got a jerky dryer. A dehydrator. But if you guys are interested in building something like this, let me get the tape measure out. So this thing is 23 inches tall, top of the box, plus, let go, damn it, plus, we're looking at a total of 30 inches, basically. And then the width, on the door is 17 and 3 quarters give or take a mile or half and 17 inches this way so that gives you an idea of what we got going if you guys want to build one maybe you guys can build a better one <clears throat> I'd love to see it how many of you guys dry brass this is it's a nice day today I'm gonna turn this thing off it's a nice day today so it's uh I could just lay all this out on a towel and a sun but I wanted to try out my little experiment and this will work really good for the winter time when there isn't any sun or it keeps raining got to get the brass dry <clears throat> you got to have it dry before you can reload it I'd like to thank my fake sponsor Dylan Precision and uh, Pure Leaf Sweet Tea as well but what I really like to do is tell you guys give me a thumbs up appreciate it Tell me about your guys' projects you're building. Maybe you got something like this. I'd love to check it out. But I just used a bunch of old scrap wood, a couple cabinet doors, and the wife's robot head hair drying deal. And it works well. I've been using this thing um, with those two shields on it and just putting it over a big pile of brass. And it definitely helps out. And I'm like, man, if I could just make this thing bigger and I could get more brass in there It'd be really easy and then uh, 
you know, you just, you can keep throwing the new stuff on the shelves. But we got so much brass we're drying right now that I got it down here, which is fine. It's working. This stuff's dry. So, loving it. See you guys. Appreciate it. Thanks for showing up. Stay safe. See you on the next video.